let's do UV painting within Nomad. Under the Decimate UV tab, UV unwrap each of the shapes you want to paint. You can hide the colorful UV grid by toggling the icon at the bottom. Subdivide a few times so that there are enough vertices for high resolution paint. Note that if you don't check linear subdivision, the shape may shrink, as in this case with the grass. So in most cases, I recommend keeping it checked. That way the shape is preserved when more vertices are added. Switch to the lowest multi-resolution. Then go back to the Desi UV tab and click Texture Baking from itself. Now it is UV painted based on the vertex pane from the highest resolution. Note that if you don't switch to the lowest resolution, sometimes the texture won't bake correctly. Let's paint the grass too. So how can we check for the UV paint? In the overall scene settings, there are two checkboxes, use textures and show painting. Use textures will show you the UV paint, while show painting will show you the vertex paint. Where is the old vertex paint? If you check under layers, there's a backup bake. However, this isn't preserved with multi-res. At this point, because the UV paint is baked, you're free to delete the higher multi-resolutions. Side note, if your object has multiple parts, especially parts that intersect, it's a good idea to separate them before you bake the painting. In this case, I did not separate the eyes, and after baking the UV textures, the eye paint ended up on the rest of the snail. 